All right, we're going to do a quick video here. I'm doing a lot of modifications and uh, changes to this to some CX 3300 HP for Todd in California. Uh, one of the things we spent the last two days working out was this digital meter. Um, as far as the meter goes, it functions. Uh, I had to do a little modifying to the radio to get the S meter to align. Um, didn't have much problems at all with uh, the power setting. Uh, one of the nice things about the digital meter is that uh, you don't have to worry about it slamming. So I set it at 4 watt dead key. That's what it's at. Um, the uh, low power is really low. I'm going to turn it on now and you'll see how it, how it boots up. In other words, the meter boots up boots up with the words x dash bones on it i'm not sure why they did that and then after a couple of seconds it flicks over to the meter if i go to 100 microvolt signal you can see she's right on s9 i'll go off of that go back to the antenna I'm dead key it's right on four watts and my meter up there if you want to look at it it's showing four watts too, bottom scale. So anyway, I haven't witnessed any issues so far. It seems to be working all right. Hello, one, two, talking it, one, two, three, four, hello. Uh, I haven't figured out where to mount the, uh, the little board yet, but we worked out, <laughs> we worked out the bezel, the framework, the actual S meter would not work this thing would not fit inside the S meter housing so I don't know how they did that in the ones where it shows that they did it um, I just I didn't see any way to make it work so I manufactured my own clear plastic face for the back and uh, I then made a, a picture frame out of uh, some material I had here and then I sprayed it several times with black lacquer so I don't know if you can see that, but that's what the framework looks like. I go to the antenna. Oh, i got to get around over here. There. You see, that's my noise level. I don't know if you can find anybody talking or not. The guys around here are changing their channels they stand by on. Turn that volume down a little. Don't appear to be anybody there. Let's see if there's anyone on 21. Hello, oh, anybody out there? Test, 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 one, two, hello. Well, sounds like all the peanut gallery is watching TV or something. Now you see that going back to X bones, which I don't understand. Uh, I'm going to wait till I have it fully mounted and uh, don't have all these long wires. I don't know if RF will have something to do with it. Well, when we have it fully mounted the way it's going to be mounted and the wires all shortened down to where they're going to be, we'll see. Otherwise, I don't know. First time I put one of these in, so I don't have any baseline to work with. Anyway, as far as it's working when it's on this meter, it seems to be working fine. Uh, when you key the mic, it switches to PWR power meter. It's aligned properly. It's right on four watts where it's supposed to be. Uh, it does have a feature for calibrate for SWR, but this doesn't have an SWR function, so. I think it's at the uh, at the power mounting. Anyway, it it seems to be all right. Uh, that's as bright as it gets. Uh, so if you see it, Todd, I'm going to post this. We'll and we'll get with you on the phone when I get this thing completely finished.